Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts, here to talk to you about the importance of patience. Oh my goodness, you just have no idea. Listen, I'm going to read a few scriptures, and then we will follow up with Pat's two cents. All right, here we are. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 6. And to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience, and to patience, add godliness. Listen. Luke chapter 21, verse 19, in your patience, possess ye your souls. Maintain your cool in patience. That's my way of saying that. Romans 8, 25, but if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Hebrews 10, 36, for ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> and James 1, 3. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Whoa, yeah. That's one of those words we don't like. You know, some of us, some of us almost feel like it's a cuss word because we hate having to wait, don't we? Come on, fess up, tell the truth. Don't even try it. All right. Now we're going to get real down and serious. The reason some of us have an issue with patience is because some of us don't really know God in an intimate form. Um, some of us have issues with parenting and family relationships, broken relationships, abandonment, the whole nine yards, betrayal and lies. And we have grown up with inconsistency so much so that it makes it very difficult to believe an invisible God, especially if, if we have never experienced him tangibly. Correct? All right. So knowing this, thank God he's understanding. But you should still pursue God personally. Nag him. Bug him. Every time you want to say something to him, say, Lord, don't forget, I really would like for you to manifest yourself to me. Lord, don't forget, I would love for you to show me your love for me. I mean, make it real. Get as real as you can and ask God to make himself as real as he will for you. Because once God becomes more real to you and you get into his word and you understand that he really is true to his promises, even when you see something you got to have because it is just too fine to let pass by, if God says no, you let go. You won't pursue what God has said no to because you trust him at that point. You can't trust who you don't know. You have to get to know God. You have to get to know him. There's, there's no other way of getting around it. So you have to pursue him the way you would pursue that hot, juicy date that you would like to get your claws on. Think about it. How many times do you call him? How many times do you call her? But do you pursue God? as frequently, as persistently. Think about it. Yeah. Because once you start pursuing him, you start finding that he enables you to be more patient. This is the problem with, with the lack of patience. <clears throat> this is what I wanted to get to. When you don't have patience, you jump the gun. We all jump the gun. Correct? All right. So, I remember there was a guy I dated for a real hot minute. It was very brief, a matter of just uh, a few months. I had no idea my husband was working his way up to calling me for to start dating me. I didn't know that. So while I'm sitting there twiddling my thumbs, along comes Mr. Fine. Hey. Okay. Yeah. He was not only fine, but he was intelligente. And I really liked his mind. 
and we would click, 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 click. I mean, we could talk about anything and everything for hours on end. Wonderful talks, marvelous, very dependable, very reliable, very helpful. What I didn't know was that Brother Man was on survivor mode and he wasn't interested in me per se. He was interested in getting a roof over his head and he could see I had a house. So, yeah. Anyway, so what ended up happening was after I broke up with him, <coughs> because <coughs> still healing, you guys. <coughs> After I broke up with him, per God's instructions, because I asked God for a sign, he gave me a sign, and I wrote him a note saying, sorry, Charlie, got to go. Okay, in a nice way, of course. So within 10 days, it was 10 days, no more than two weeks, after I had decided to break up and broke up with him, somebody dialed my number. And when I picked it up, Voila, it was the man of my dreams, the real man, the real promise from God. That was my treat, my husband-to-be finally noticed that he should be checking me out. And we started dating, and I was in love within a month, and it was like, the other guy was like, so-and-so, who? <laughs> I mean, he's so paled in comparison to this man. Young ladies, young men, I say all that to say, don't be in such a hurry. Don't let your hormones steer the wheel. Don't let your hormones accelerate. And the reason I'm saying that is because you will get caught up in some trick bags you cannot get out of. And the one that the, the 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 dream of your heart, the love of your life that God had ordained for you will pass you by. Because you have not obeyed God and opened up a position, you have not positioned yourself to receive this blessing. Listen, if your hand is full of stuff, you got all kind of stuff in your hand. I want you to see, if you've got all kind of stuff in your hand, you there, there's no room to put anything else in it. You have to be willing to empty and get rid of everything in order for your hands to be open and available to receive. If your life is full of clutter, if your life is full of nonsense that God has not ordained or sanctioned, you are not in a position to receive what God has for you. Ergo, you lose out on your blessing. An opportunity, most of the time, only knocks once. So when God says, let it go, you better obey. Because right behind it going could be your lover coming. And you'll never know. If you're not patient, willing, and trusting enough to do what God says to. You don't want to miss out on the, on the love of your dreams. The love of your dreams is one of God's promises. And he will fulfill his promise if you fulfill your obedience to him. But you must obey. You know that old song, trust and obey? For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. But to trust and obey. Remember that. God bless you.